Welcome to Little Data Courses. In this video, we're going to talk about the sales performance report and how to set that up in Google Analytics 4. In Google Analytics 4, you want to select the Explore tab on the left-hand side, and that's going to take you to the Exploration page. Here, you're going to want to create a blank new exploration by clicking on the plus sign. Once you do that, you're going to change the exploration name from Untitled Exploration to Sales Performance. You'll want to make sure that the technique is freeform, and from here, we'll start adding in dimensions. For this report, we're going to add in the transaction ID. So we're going to type in transaction ID and select that and then import that in. Then we're going to go over to the metrics. We're going to click the plus sign and then we're going to search for purchase. Here we're going to select purchase revenue and purchases. Then we're going to go ahead and type in refund and we're also going to add that in. We're going to select and import those metrics. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the admin tab on the bottom left-hand corner. Then under the property settings, we're going to go ahead and find where it says custom definitions, and we're going to click in on that. You're going to see that you have custom dimensions and custom metrics. We're going to click in on custom metrics, and we're going to create a custom metric. For this first metric, we're going to name it shipping. We're going to put shipping as the description, and then we're going to put shipping as the event parameter, and we're going to put currency as the unit of measurement. Please make sure the revenue data and cost data is selected. Save that, and we're going to create a brand new one. This one will be tax. Same thing, tax as the description and tax as the event parameter, and currency will be the unit of measurement, and make sure revenue and cost data is selected. Now from here, we're going to go back to the Explore report on the left-hand side, and you'll see the Sales Performance report there. Click in on that, and then under Metrics, we're going to go ahead and add in those custom metrics that we just created. Now you'll see there's two custom metrics that have been created by you, so you can go ahead and select Shipping and Tax, and go ahead and import those. Now you can drag and drop, or you can just double-click on these, and that will put them in the Rows and Value section of your report. Now, once you double click on each of them, you can see them populating in the rows and also in the values. And you can drag and drop based on what values you want populating first. Now, always remember that you can find this report in your Explore reports, and that's how you can access this report. It will always be there. Now, as always, happy exploring.